Ohio AG shuts down Democrat proposal that would skirt election deadline to get Biden on ballots. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost's office rejected an effort by state Democrats to circumvent a key election deadline to allow President Biden on state ballots this week, according to documents obtained by RZ News. The documents show correspondence from Yost's office and Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose, as well as Attorney Donald McTeague, who is representing Democrats on the matter. LaRose, a Republican, had notified state Democrats earlier this month that the Democratic National Convention would not occur until more than a week after Ohio's August 7 deadline for certifying presidential candidates. LaRose warned that either the Ohio Assembly would have to vote to change the law, or Democrats would have to move up their plans for certifying Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. McTeague responded in an April 9 letter arguing the Secretary of State had the authority to accept a provisional certification of Biden and Harris's nominations prior to the official certification at the party's convention. Dems blasted over leaked memo that says, quiet part out loud about voter registration efforts. He claimed Ohio law allows for a provisional move because Biden and Harris have secured the pledged delegates necessary to become the party's nominees. Democratic strategist Boast's party fought to undermine dangerous third-party threat to Biden. LaRose then consulted with Yost's office about the proposed solution, but the attorney general shot down the plan in a statement on Monday. The Democratic Party's notion of providing a provisional certification by the statutory deadline simply is not provided for by law, Yost's office said. Instead, the law mandates the Democratic Party to actually certify its president and vice president candidates on or before August 7, 2024. No alternative process is permitted. Thus, the Secretary of State lacks authority to accept provisional certifications from the Democratic Party pursuant to the law. The Democratic Party must actually certify its presidential candidates on or before August 7, 2024 to be placed on the 2024 general election ballot, the statement continued. McTeague has yet to offer a response to the Attorney General's office, and he did not immediately respond to a request for comment from RZ News. Meanwhile, Biden's campaign continues to insist that he will be on the ballot in all 50 states.